Know your value. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Sip Five Myers, author, podcaster, and your Uplifting Life partner. Now, this one I kind of wanted to piggyback on uh, a video I did not too long ago where it says, I am 10 and perfect. Because I know for a lot of people, when they hear that or they saw that title, it kind of threw them for a loop. And, um, and some people, if they first see that, their first impression is obviously a person has to be pretty arrogant in order to say that about themselves. But if you haven't saw that video, run over and take and um, and take a look at it. Matter of fact, it'll pop up soon here where to give you the opportunity to click on it if you haven't seen it. But what I what I wanted to do is is come from a different um, example so that you can really get the point of what I'm talking about. And we can use the form of something as simple as a dollar bill or a $20 bill. Let's just use a dollar bill to make it real simple. The creators of that dollar bill decided the value of this particular piece of paper, because all it is is this piece of paper, the value of it is $1. And so everyone has come into agreement that this is worth $1. Now, it doesn't matter if you put it in the washing machine and took it out, it's still worth, the value of it is still what? $1. If you drop it in the mud, pick it up, wipe it off, it's still, the value of it is still $1. It doesn't matter what you do to that particular piece of paper, has that little one in the corner, the value, it's a dollar. You could tear it in half, tape it back together, what's the value? A dollar. So basically, we can send that, that dollar through all kind of changes, all kind of obstacles, um, all kind of traumas. <laughs> and you guys know what I'm getting to. I'm saying because I know that's our lives. We've all had challenges. We've all had obstacles. Um, they have in the past. Guess what? They're also going to come. They might be, might be in them right now. And they might come in, and they definitely come in the future. That's all a part of the process. But what you have to understand is your creator told you your value. It wasn't a mistake. Your value is you are perfect, exactly the way I intended you to be. And as I said, if you are perfect, then that makes you a 10 when people are talking about on a scale of 1 to 10. It doesn't matter what, however they want to judge it. You are a 10. You are perfect. What I'm getting to is do not allow anyone, because of their own personal issues, their, their, their low self-esteem, get you to believe that your value has changed from what the creator created you to be. I don't care about, and again, you guys know I've talked about before, separate you from your actions and your decisions. Those are things that you did. And the reason I'm saying you have to separate it is you got to understand your value. You got to understand that, that you're enough, you're worthy of all the things you want in life. You may have made some decisions that didn't go the way that you wanted on the world didn't want them or whatever. But as long as we understand that's not us, we can make different decisions and hopefully correct whatever it was you know, in the, the way that we wanted to uh, get the results, I should say, that we, we actually want. But my bottom line for this video is I just want you to understand your value doesn't change, even though all the obstacles, what you're supposed to do is all those things, like they said, you're either learning or you get an experience. You see what I'm saying? Bottom line. For me, I don't use, as you guys know, I don't use the word failure and all that other stuff. Is because I don't believe in any of that. I believe all that stuff, everything that's coming is fine-tuning you. That's the rough, you know, the, the things, the, the balling up of the of the uh, the dollar bill, falling in the mud, all that stuff. Those are the decisions that were made. But when you open it up, it's value, still a dollar. And guess what? You're still perfect. You're still enough. Do not let anyone make you believe 
anything else. And the reason I'm really emphasizing this value, and one of the things I'm in the process of doing now is I'm going to add to uh, my program soon here is a credit repair agency. And the reason for that is because unfortunately so many people have linked or are linking the way they feel about themselves to a FICO score, which is crazy to me, but it's amazing. It's also affecting people's relationships. I mean, as you guys have heard me say in other videos, one of the first things uh, I've had ladies tell me, one of the first things they want to know is they want to know the guy's FICO score. That's just amazing to me that you're telling a person their value, their worth is tied to a score. Something that really, if you uh, understand how this stuff works, you can repair within six months to a year. And it's just, so you're going to decide on whether you get in a relationship with someone or if you're that person, you're going to look at yourself and value whether you're worthy based on a score. So that's why I'm going to take that on because I want to make sure that I can help people in that area to address that particular thing so we can get that out of the way so that you're not allowing that to be an obstacle. But if you're listening to all the stuff that I'm sharing, then you won't be one of those people that allows your FICO score to make that decision for you. But I just know that unfortunately, we're in a society that too many people are linking their value and their worth to that. And even dating, they're linking whether they'll date you due to that, that I just feel it's an area that needs to be addressed and therefore I'm going to address it because my main objective as you guys know with everything I do is I want you to learn to love that person in the mirror and understand their value and their worth and I'm going to do everything that I can anything that I see that could possibly be a stumbling block trust me I will add to what I'm doing because we're going to make sure when it's all said and done you love you some you. <laughs> so anyway, as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you, we talk on self-love Monday. I'll, I'll talk to you next Monday. For those on relationship Thursday, I'll talk to you next Thursday. I mean, next Thursday, this Thursday. Um, I'll look forward to talking with you. Uh, get on over to ronsipsfivemyers.online. Again, that's ronsipsfivemyers.online. You can see all the things that I got going on. And just remember, folks, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Don't let your FICO score tell you your value. And make sure you understand, as I've said before, you are perfect the way the Creator designed you to be. And don't let anyone make you feel or any outside thing make you think or believe anything different. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.